So Canva Magic Studio. Canva Magic is all AI related content that Canva have added into this amazing platform. Now, today I want to take you through one particular thing, but I wanted to just show you this page. It's canva.com forward slash magic. And it shows you the whole Canva AI suite of features that you can use in your business. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see there are so many different new features Canva have added to help you with all aspects. Now, the one we're going to be looking at today is called Magic Eraser. This one here, these are just short, super short tutorials on different features that you can use. And this one, we are gonna be looking at Magic Eraser. Hello, I'm Laura. I am a Canva creator, I'm a digital designer, and I love all things Canva. And these videos, I'm bringing you lots of different features and tips that you can then use and incorporate into your business. Okay, so to use Magic Eraser, I'm gonna click Try Magic Eraser right here, and it's gonna open up a template for me in Canva. Now, I don't actually want this image, but that's just one way of getting into it. What you can also do is when you're on the homepage of Canva and you create a design, so let's say we're looking at a Facebook post and I want to add an image. The other way, when you go through the Magic Canva Magic page, it will give you an example photo that you can then practice on if you want to. But if you wanna use this within a design as well, I'm gonna to go to the photo section and you can upload one of your own photos. You can use a photo of canvas. Um, you've got the upload section on the menu at the top and you can upload your own photos as well. But I'm gonna use this one here. I like this photo. I'm gonna right click and set as background. So let's say I want to add some information over in this corner about my business but I've got this flower in the way. Now I want to get rid of this. I don't want this here. I know that if I chop it off here, it will look quite nice. And it gives me a nice clear blank space to add my information. So if I click on the photo, so you've got this bar come up here and then click edit photo. There's this one here called magic eraser. Now it is a pro feature. I will say it is a pro feature. A lot of the um, magic AI features are pro. So if you do want to trial them and you're on free, you can always get 30 day free trial. Um, I will drop the link into the comments so you can then go and get yourself a 30 day free trial of pro and see what you think of it. So let's click magic eraser. OK, so it's now given me the option to change my brush size. So it depends on how big or smaller part I want to remove from this design. So I want to take this flower out. So I'm going to have this one. It's a 32, so it's not huge. I want to just drag my mouse over the area I want to remove down to there. So I want to keep that bottom piece of the leaf and I want the part that's now purple to disappear. Now, this is where Canva Magic does its thing and it will remove that for me. And this is as simple as it is, really. And there we go. We have it. It can take a little while for it to do its thing, but you can clearly see it has now gone. And I've now got this wonderful space up here that I can now create and write my text. I can promote my business, my products, whatever it is I want to do, I can use this right here. So once you're done and you've got your image how you want it, we want to be able to add some information to it. And now I've still got my eraser brush. So if I click anywhere else on this image, it will start erasing other parts of my design. Now I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is click back. So you saw that I just clicked the arrow over in the top left-hand corner and it's gone back to the normal editing mode. So it's removed it for me and I've now got somewhere I can add a text box and I can now put my information up here. So there we go, that is it. That is what I wanted to show you today. Just a super quick video on how to use Canva's Magic Eraser 
um, and take something out of an image that gives you a bit more space. Or if you've got something in the background that you don't want there, you can then remove it as well. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please, please do make sure you subscribe to this channel because I've got a whole list of different videos I'm going to be creating, especially for Canva, AI and small businesses.